Hello everyone. Welcome to my class. I'm Dr. Ganesh Kumar from India. Today in this class we are going to discuss about the high level data link control protocol, HDLC protocol. This is a very famous and basics of that uh, any data link layer protocol. We all aware that the DLC services are responsible for moving the data from one node to the another node and then creating and making of frames which has to be fit into fit for physical layer medium and the third and fourth important functions are error control and the flow control so these are all the basic services which has to be given in that any type of data link layer protocols so in this high level data link layer protocol is a very famous and basic protocol of in dlc layer so hdlc is basically it is an a bit oriented protocol we all know that there are two types of protocols one is in bit oriented protocols another one is a character oriented protocols so the bit oriented protocols are all the data are which is going to be interpreted as bits whereas in character oriented protocols are interpreted as all the characters by the characters so this hdlc belongs to an bit oriented protocols so earlier to that hdlc protocol there are some sdlc protocol is there synchronous data link layer protocol so which is an a uh, fixed in size it is not a variable in size so that is the reason that it is not that much famous and the hdlc protocol which is an variable in payload size so this hdlc protocol is a basics for any other today's protocols in the data link layer so what about the communication over the point to point and multi point links which are all uh, the hdlc protocol which can able to support it as we earlier class also we have discussed about the dlc services and also some of the protocols as like simple protocol stop and wait protocol go back and protocol and selective protocol if you don't watch that channel please watch that video also which is given in that description so this hdlc protocols which is using as an stop and wait protocol it is a highly reliable protocol so whenever the any frames is moves from one end one node to the another node then it will get an acknowledgement also so this is a basis for practical protocols whatever it is such as uh, right now in uh, point to point protocol and uh, ethernet protocol in ethernet also uh, wired ethernet that also there are different types of uh, wired ethernet protocol so if you want to watch specifically to that uh, wired wired ethernet and then wireless lan protocol so separate video has been given that is link is given in that description if you don't watch you can watch that video also and this hdlc protocol the transfer modes are there are two transfer modes of operation in hdlc normally whichever the devices which is going to be connected into that network that has to be comes under this either transfer modes in the two one is an nrm and another one is a abm nrm is a normal response mode and the abm is a stands for asynchronous balanced mode so the nodes are going to be configured in this way based on that only the data exchange which is going to happen between one node to the another node now let us see how nrm and asm which is going to work so in this normal response mode so generally which is going to have a commands and responses so uh, devices are going to be Uh, declared as a primary device and secondary devices normally the primary devices which is going to be send a commands and the secondary devices which will given responses to that say for example the servers can be actors on a primary device which can able to send a commands and our edge devices can be actors uh, giving us a responses so it may call it as an a secondary devices apart from that some devices can able to act as a server as well as it can able to act as a uh sec primary as well as a secondary so those stations we generally call it as a combined stations which can act as a primary in sometimes which can act as a secondary in sometimes so that kind of devices that kind of uh, systems we call it as for a combined systems so the primary systems always send and only commands and the secondary systems will send in responses so here in first diagram the first figure it can shows that the point to point link it means that the primary which is going to send the commands to the secondaries the secondaries which is going to given a response to that uh, commands to the primary 
So if it is going to be a point to point. The second figure which is going to explain about one primary and multiple secondaries then automatically which is comes under a multi-point category, multi-point configuration category. So the primary can able to pull and select the secondary and send a commands and the secondary based on that commands it can give a response to the primaries. This is a asynchronous normal response mode. And the last figure which is going to show is that asynchronous balanced mode. It means that all the devices are going to be configured as in a combined devices there. So if it is going to be combined devices, the station can able to send both commands as well as the responses from one end to the another end. Now, the asynchronous balance mode configuration, there is one combined station on left hand side, there is one more combined station on the right hand side. So it can able to send both the commands as well as it can able to send the responses also. Next we can see that there are three different types of frames which has to be used in that uh, HDLC protocol. One is an I frame. S frame and U frame. I stands for information frames and S stands for supervisory frames and U stands for unnumbered frames. Information frames are used to help to send and original information and supervisory frames are going to be used for uh, networking, uh, supervising the handshaking kind of uh, data exchanges and unnumbered frames are going to be used for management information. Now let us see information frames but all the frames are going to start with a flag and ends with the same flag and then address fields control fields and uh, FCS frame check sequence fields are going to be common for both all the three frames either it may be a I frame S frame or the U frames. Only the difference is going to be a control field is going to be a slight difference bit pattern and that wherein I frames which contains a user information and S frames which is going to doesn't have any other information only that overhead fields alone and the unnumbered frames are going to be a management information. Now let us see what is a control field here. So for control field for an I frame whichever the control field which starts with an zero then immediately it understood that it is an I frame and the next three bits are going to be a sequence number of the frames already sent sequence number of the frames already sent and the last three bits are going to specify that the sequence number of frames is received and then in between ns and n or in between there is a one bit which is a pole or final bit if it is a pole means the primary stations which can able to select the secondary if it's a final means that is a secondary giving and responses so which is going to be common for all other frames whereas in if it is going to be a supervisory frame here the first bit is going to start with one zero only the information frames only with which is going to start with zero remaining all other frames which is going to start with an one so if it is going to one then automatically understood that it is not an original information either it belongs to supervisory or unnumbered frame if the next bit is going to be a zero then it understood that it is a supervisory frame then the next two bits are going to be code and the last three bits are going to mention that what is the number of sequence number of frames already received and before that one bit is pole and final which is going to be common for all the three frames and then unnumbered frame which is going to mention that the managerical information management of network information so both the first two bits are going to be one and then next two bits and last three bits are going to specify that management information related codes are going to be used in that I hope you understand the concept of uh, HDLC protocol. Let me recap that. HDLC protocol is a very basic protocol of the data link layer, which has to be used in that uh, data link layer. And from this HDLC protocol, all other protocol has been evolved like an PPP and then uh, wired Ethernet, wireless LAN network, wireless LAN network protocol, and many other protocol has been evolved. So this HDLC protocol which is going to provide the services for uh, data link uh, services as like responsible for moving data from frames from one node to another node and framing error control and flow control. So how it is going to implement it is 
by means of configuring the systems and it is also a bit oriented protocol so when you are configuring the systems then the systems are going to be a three types of configuration one is a primary station it can able to send only a commands and then secondary station which can able to send the responses and the combined station which can able to act as a primary as well as a secondary so the it can able to send the commands as well as the responses so there are two transfer modes of configuration depends upon the how the systems are going to be configured so that two transfer modes are normal response mode and asynchronous balance mode in this normal response mode one primary either it may be a point to point or multi point one primary and one secondary is a point to point one primary and multiple secondaries are going to be a multi point if it is going to be an asynchronous balance mode multiple combined stations are going to be connected so all the devices all the systems can able to send commands as well as the responses and then we discussed about the frame formats there are three different types of frames that is information frame supervisory frames and unnumbered frames we saw the structure of an all the three frames and then discuss about the control field of a, all the three frames i hope you understand the concept of hdlc protocol if you have any doubts you can mention in the comment line i'm happy to respond your questions thank you for watching my class have a great day thank you